but before doing that inspect there is nothing in between the gears and the gear over here in the engine double check because you don't want any wanted problems once you install the cam housing once the cam housing is in I'm going to drop it on top of the head and after that I'm going to align it with this screwdriver so you can see that screwdriver over there I'm gonna drop it a little more and then I'm gonna align it and then I'm gonna fully sit the cam housing on top of the head I have another screwdriver on here you see so it's two screwdrivers to align the cam housing perfectly now now you can see the screwdriver is all the way in and this one is too is all the way in as you can see there so the cam housing is completely aligned so now i'm gonna drop it the cam housing is fully seated as you can see the next step is to check the valves they should be free like this see the rocker on if you feel that anything is tight double check and make sure that the rocker arm is in the right position with the valve if the rocker arm is in the wrong position lift the cam housing again and align it and then drop it again double check all of them the exhaust and the intake so now i'm going to install the bolts i have them ready right here i'm gonna align the cam housing you see is even right now is one size upper than the other one you see over there is touching the gear and on this side is very is on the air as you can see so i'm going to uh install all the bolts the shortest bolts they go on this in the middle and the longest bolts they go on a side so i'm gonna install all of them i'm gonna drop i wanna tie the cam housing slowly 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 until it aligns with the head okay the cam housing is completely seated you can see it's fully seated that's the way it should be inspected see so the next step i'm going to do is to remove the chain and I'm going to tore all these bolts, the 13 millimeter bolts. And we're going to tie them by specifications. We have here two torque uh, sequence. The first one, 15 foot pounds. And then the second one, we're gonna torque it to 37 to 40 foot pounds. And here is the sequence, then you're gonna follow to tie all the bolts. Okay, so the cam housing bolts are completely tight. So that means then the cam housing is fully installed. So all you need to do now is double check that the timing marks are in the correct position because sometimes they move. So make sure then you see the triangle there. It's really hard to see it because it's dark. So now we can safely remove the timing tools from the cam housing both of the timing tools the one on this side and the one on the other side remember to remove the pin from this housing and install the sensor it's very important to do that don't forget it okay the next step is to remove those plugs i installed i want to remove them all now I'm going to reinstall all the injector fuel lines and the fuel pump fuel lines and the return line of the reel. Okay, all the fuel lines are in place as you can see. Now I'm going to install the injector harness. So the injector harness is in place. Now I'm going to install the plugs, the electric plugs and connect to the injector harness and the sensors around. And I'm going to install the valve cover. Um, I'm going to adjust the valves on this engine, but I have limited time, so I won't show you that in this occasion. Maybe later I'm gonna make another video how to adjust the valves on the DD15 engine with more details because right now I'm uh, kind of behind, uh, so I won't be able to make a video because I wanna take some time to do it. All the, the valve cover and the other components are on place. 
Uh, now I'm going to install the air filter and the brackets then are on top of the engine. Alright, so everything is on place. You can see everything is tight and secure. So the cam housing replacement job is completely done but there is one important step to do right now which is start the engine uh, to start the engine you can prime the pump a little to get some pressure because the air got inside the air system uh, and then you crank the engine properly so you will need to open the engine again and repair whatever is wrong if the checking line comes on after a cam housing replacement cam housing field replacement you have to make sure that the timing is correct because in many cases it moves there is one important step that i forgot to tell you about the cam housing seal replacement there is two ways to do the cam housing seal. The way I did it on this video, you can see how I actually replaced the cam housing seal without removing anything but just the cam housing with all the components on top. But the other way is to remove piece by piece inside the engine. You have to remove the rocker arm shaft first, then the cam housing caps, then the uh, cam, uh, the uh, cam shaft, all of them, you have to remove them individually, and then you have to remove the cam housing. So that requires more job, uh, but legally that's the safest way to do it. That's the way a Detroit uh, uh, dealer, the Detroit uh, actual ma manufacturer will actually recommend to do the job. But the problem is, every time that you do the cam housing seal replacement, and you do it that way, you have to torque the rocker arm shaft to the specifications. And the specifications are 41 foot-pounds plus 90 degrees, which is around 100 pounds, which is a lot. So, um, I recommend you to don't do that because if you do that all the time on a cam housing you're gonna damage the thread of the cam housing and at the end you will need to replace the cam housing because that's a very delicate piece you can see on my other video the reason why I replaced the cam housing because of one of the threads more than one of the threads uh, of the cam housing caps they were loose and the entire uh, rocker arm uh, chaff come off so that's the problem um, so uh, to prevent that you can do it the way I just did it so it's easier and just require more attention whenever you're starting the camp housing because you have to make sure that everything is sits perfectly if it doesn't sit perfectly you can damage the uh, any balls or or, or, or the rocker arms or the cam housing itself you can crack it or break it so this is all I'm going to show you about the cam housing replacement on a DD15 engine it's going to be very similar to DD213s uh, it's going to vary on parts and timing tools depending of the year but this is all you need to know about the cam housing seal replacement uh, you can check my other video at the description below or at the end screen of this video why I replaced the cam housing seal. You can check the reasons why the cam housing seal was replaced. 
So if you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I will answer it as soon as I can. If you like the video, please uh, support my channel. You can check at the video description below information where could you can send support to my channel so I can continue making videos like this to help owner operators, drivers, mechanics and many other people that work on their own trucks. So like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for spending your time watching my videos. I appreciate that.